what's going on guys and oh my god <laughs> oh my god how long did it take to get this video out two months i think two months like two months like and i'm stacked up on videos because i also got to review this sets the um the venom um set i also got to review the um city house i also got to review the haggard's hut I also got a review. Um, I gotta do a spiral layer. I also gotta do like four minifigure uh, minifigure showcases. Probably not do that many because I don't think I can do that many. Um, I'll probably just do as many as I can. And yeah, and I also gotta do how to build a better pork grind and stuff like that. I'm stacked on videos. Okay, so you guys will begin this a lot soon. But today, finally, to kick off another um, um, set review, we have. Lego set 70420 Graveyard Mystery. Um, the ages are 7 plus and the piece count is 335. And we have um, this person, I gotta look up his name. And we got Parker, and then we also got Jack, and then we also got Spencer the Ghost Dog. So, yeah, let me look up this person. We also got an extra ghost head on the side and a skeleton inside here. We'll get all to the enough. We'll get into all that fun stuff later. Well, without further ado, let's get on to the first figure. So here is the first figure. We have Jack. Now, he is a really cool figure because of one thing. He has a new hood and hat combo. It's very cool. You can use this for, like, Subway Surfer. Nice torso printing. We go on the back. He has more, like, scratches on the back. And he has a new tile print. Which, if I can zoom in, then that would be lovely. We have a little, a little uh, ghost on there. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, also, God darn it, the, the freaking segment sucked. Ah. So here is the first figure, which is Jack. Now, he is a really cool character because he has a new hood and hat combo. And um, that just connects at the very top of his head like a normal Lego stud would on the top of his head. That did not make any sense. Who cares? He has red scratches on the top. I feel like he's a fan of red scratches. I guess on the um, front of his torso, he has this. Um, let's remove his accessory. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, he has like scratches on the front. And then if you go on the very back, he has more scratches and an angry expression. Which I think looks way better for him because of um, that big giant smile just doesn't do him good. And, of course, he does have a little bit of leg printing if we can zoom in right there, which, there we go. But, yeah, um, he has a little bone right there, probably for Spencer, and then he also has a print for his phone, because um, the whole theme of this dead theme um, now um, is that you can catch ghosts and stuff. Oops, it's upside down. I um, mean, catch ghosts through their phone, um, which I wish phones were this detailed. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it looks really cool. You also see all the wrinkles in my hand, which is pretty weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it for Jack. I'm going to stall so we can put the thing in his hand. Um, there we go. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, let's go on the next segment, which is Parker. So if you guys really want to hear some upcoming figure designs, I'm probably going to use her for a upcoming um, Gwen Stacy with the torso. But anyway, Parker has this new hair hat combo. I love how Lego, when they do their own lines, they make like wacky colors, but when we want like a new cow for Batman, they just use the same exact one. Anyway, off topic. Um, this piece has been used before in red and brown in a different future set um, when this before this set came out. Um, this set came out first, and then there was a set in the family house. So now I have two of these molds. I think this one is cooler. Um, she has ripped pants with yellow skin, so they're useless if you want to use a, a flesh person. On the back, um, you can check out her happy expression, which I hate that happy expression. It's so happy, and yeah, I kind of like her scared expression. Because it's hidden inside, of course, and we have to be scared. Um, anyway, she does also have her exclusive phone tile piece which has a little ghost on there so which is pretty cool so yeah that is parker 
And now we're going to go on to Mr. Grayson. Or, I, I forget the dude's name. But yeah, I got to look up on a Just Do Good video. But yeah, um, she looks pretty cool. And yeah, let's go on to the next figure, which is going to be... Um, I don't really know. Let me look his name up. Next up is Mr. Granson. And yeah, he has overalls. Um, but the legs are kind of useless now because they're all muddy. But they would be cool. It's really cool to have this hairpiece in gray, which I do have. But um, I think I only have one version of it. I love this old man head. Too bad it's on a yellow expression. Um, but who really cares? It looks really cool for hidden side. And yeah, um, he looks pretty cool. As an accessory, you're supposed to give this to the skeleton, but you get two of them. You do get a skeleton key, which looks like it's going in the dark. I really don't know. I'm not going to test it out. I really don't care. And yeah, that is Mr. Gr um, Grayson. Yeah, I think it's Grayson. Uh, Mr. Grayson. And yeah, now time to look at his alternate counterpart right now. Now, before I get onto this, I've not told anybody this, but this hairpiece, if you painted this hairpiece in white, it would be a great Halloween custom version of um, the one of the brothers, the Quicksilver, um, one of Quicksilver's brothers. This would have been a great hairpiece to use for um, 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 Wiccan's brother, um, Speed. This would be a great custom for Speed um, for the Halloween outfit. Um, but yeah, anyway, this head could be used for Radioactive Man, which if you cannot see, there you go. And he looks really cool. I really like this piece a lot. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I really love this new hair piece. I wish I got the Kai hair piece in blonde because I could use that for my sick fic. Anyway, now let's go on to the Animal Spencer. So next up, we have Spencer the dog. He is a very cool new piece. I want to sculpt this for... Um, Sparky from the um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I always thought of this, and I might, who knows, in an upcoming Halloween video, I might take it. I really want to, and I really might do it. Now, stick around on my channel because I might make a Sparky custom out of this, and I might give him a bone as an accessory in his mouth. So, yeah, and I might get Jack Skellington figure and Sally because I really need those. Anyway, now let's go on to the set review. So here's the set, and we're gonna start from one side and work our way other, um, work our way to the right. So yeah, let's start off with the gate. So first off with the gate, we're gonna start off with the gate. You can open the gate doors into the graveyard, and you can also see a very tiny sticker right here, which you can have on each side. Let me just flip the set over on the other side. It's it's equal as you guys can see. Um, let me just flip it on this side. Um, there we go. You can see it on both sides, which is pretty cool. I'm literally picking up the whole set. I need to redo that. Oh. So here's the whole set. It really doesn't fit that much in the frame. But, of course, we are going to take a look at the left. And then we're going to go to the right. So, yeah. And then we'll take a look at the back. So there are some back stickers, but I'm not really going to pick up the whole set and move it. Because... I don't really want to do that, so yeah, we're going to go to one side and go to the other side. So yeah, let's go on to the first part, which is the gate. So yeah, on the front, we have these little hotel um, doors that you could use for Hotel Transylvania. And let's just start moving to, over to the side. Um, over here, we have a sticker with a vine sticking out, which is pretty cool. On the back, we have some dandruff. We'll look at that in the back in a minute. Um, right up here, if we move the camera up, we actually have a little um, hairpiece that I've always wanted for figures and finally have it and don't know what to use it for. Huh. But anyway, if you know down here, if you see down here, they have little stickers which you can turn her around and make it, I don't know, um, make her spin around, which is pretty cool. Um, that's a sticker, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's only two prints in this set, which are the phones. Oops, I just bumped the whole set, huh? Um, anyway, but yeah, you can make these wings go around, and then you can um, go inside out, so she looks like she's flapping, and she's gonna flap away, wee, um, but yeah, anyway, take this hairpiece off and use it for an ant may or something, who knows, um, it's your choice, um, and then you also have another sticker, which if we zoom in right there, you have a sticker right there that reads some stuff, which is pretty cool, and then if you go back, you also have a sticker right here. But, of course, the main play feature is boom. You push it up, and you have a face down. I just bumped the camera. 
Um, sorry about that, but yeah, anyway, um, you have this skeleton, which is pretty cool. I wish it was going in the dark. It's kind of the old skeleton. It has the same key that I told you about earlier. You put them in there. Pretty cool. You've seen skeletons in the Venomosaurus video. And you have a tiny one, which what are you going to really put in here? I don't really know. Just kind of for display. No sticker. Um, and it's pretty cool. So let me remove that sticker so you can actually see it. Um, um, there we go. Yeah, there it is. It's a pretty cool sticker. It has like this little stuff on it. And then you put it back down. And... There you go. And then on this side, if we make our way all over to this side, we have a Shrek door. I call it the Shrek door because it kind of does. We will take a look at the inside when we go around the back. Um, you have a little faucet right here that you can kind of see of the inside. Um, but if we go all the way up, you can actually see that it's a giant type of giant. And there's a play feature on the back you put up and down. And it's this um, thing that got possessed, a tree got possessed. You can also move the back, um, wig um, wiggly, wobbly. <laughs> I didn't make any sense, but who cares. Um, on the top, you have some trees, which is pretty cool. I love this eye design when you kind of move the eyes. The eyes kind of go up, so it's kind of like surprise. kind of looks like the Lorax. Um, but yeah, um, this thing kind of gets stuck. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but who cares. Um, but yeah, now let's go on to the back. Right here, you see a little sticker, and then if we go on the very back, you have some plants. The back of the mummy girl, um, the um, little statue thing. And then on the very back of that, you also have more of these plants. And, of course, you do have the inside of the um, place, which does have a broom and stuff in there, which you can kind of see in here. Let me actually take it out. You have, you have these um, plants and stuff that is pretty cool. Yeah, you have, you have all these um, broom and a shovel, which is pretty cool. And then on the very inside, all you have basically is a faucet, and that's it. And yeah, that is kind of it for this set. It's not that much. Sorry if um, I moved the camera a lot in this set. It, this is a really big, giant set. It's not that big, but you, you know what I mean, man. It's it's really wide, and f overall the worst the worst mechanic putting these guys in. And this was kind of this was kind of a funeral for Hidden Side um, because of Hidden Side is dead. They're not gonna make any more sets. Future sets turn out better than the Wave. Kind of one, I think these were one sets or two. I don't really care. Okay, let me put these back. And um, yeah, let's 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 cut to the end. So that is it for today's video. And hopefully you guys like it. It literally took me 20 minutes to put back this set because I literally raged and destroyed half of this set. So I had to go back in the instruction manual, which is right here. Um, I, I'm not gonna do any more instruction manual things anymore. Um, and showing the box off because, well, I'm just not going to do that anymore. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys like it. This video will probably go published or edited in a couple days um, from now. Today is, um, what day is it today? What day is it today? Um, it is um, April 21st. So... I don't know when this video is coming out, probably April 22nd or April 23rd, who knows. I'll see you guys later, peace out, um, and bye.